It's uh, the first the first of September, and I am sorting out some of the quilts I have in my closet. Every once in a while, I take the quilts out of my closet. I air them outside for the day on the line, and then I bring them back inside, all refreshed. I fold them in a different way so the creases don't get too pronounced over the years sitting in my closet. Now, why do I have so many quilts? That is a very good question. I love quilting. I love making quilts and I give most of my quilts away. But this year at the end of September, I have a trunk show and I have to organize a little presentation about something to do with my quilts. And I am now evaluating what quilts, <laughs> which quilts I'm going to take to this presentation and what I'm going to talk about. And sometimes that can be a mind boggling experience. I have been asked to talk about my experience with YouTube. And I must admit, since the beginning of my YouTube journey, I have given away most of the quilts that I've made on and showed on this presentation platform. So I'm uh, a, a bit in a quandary of what I'm going to talk about. Anyway, it's, a, it's lovely to see all the fabric and all of the patterns once again, to air them out, to give them some freedom for a little while anyway. And I have a, the decision about after this trunk show, I have about 12 or 15 quilts that I'm going to give away again. So I have to decide which ones I want to part with and which ones I think might be a special thing for me to keep for another presentation in the future if, if I so desire. It's interesting to think about the things that are important to you as you get a bit older. And it's important for me to look back at the pictures that I take. And I have a reference with my YouTube channel about what I've done and how I've made the quilts. But it's not necessary for me to keep them all. I love to give them away. I like people to have them, to keep them warm, to make them happy. I, I think that's a much grander program in my estimation than keeping them all on a shelf in my closet. But with the exception of I need something to teach a lesson or to tell a story, I have to make a story out of some of these quilts. So today I am thinking about my quilts. I'm thinking about what I could tell about the stories. Where did the fabric come from? What was the inspiration for it? How did I go about making the quilt? What's special about it? Um, but I can also add to it the experience I had with YouTube followers. The people that have subscribed on this channel the people who have given me comments about how they like this or what was interesting about this particular quilt. Uh, I'll be looking back at the comments of the, of the quilts and for the next couple of weeks I might be making more comments on some of the old quilt videos to be able to um, maybe get a, an idea about which quilts that I thought would be good ones to put on this little program that I've got uh, scheduled at the end of September. So if you have any comments or ideas that you might think are worthwhile, uh, I would be very happy to uh, put some of those comments into my presentation. I'm not soliciting, but sometimes you just need to have a bit of outside um, input so that you know uh, it's worthwhile, it's, it's a valued uh, resource for some people and whatever it might do for you, um, I might be able to refer to what you say 
in my presentation at the end of September. So I'm just sitting here today contemplating quilt, my quilt, and your comments. So I'll stop here now. And this is just a little thank you for being a subscriber. And thank you for giving me comments. Bye for now.